ஐ எம் ஆர் ஜம்னா ராணி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் நான் வை எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் கான்செப்ட் சாஃப்ட்வேர் எவல்யூஷன்ஸ் இனிஷியலி ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் வேர் ரிட்டன் பை ஜீரோஸ் அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் கால் மிஷின் லெவல் லாங்குவேஜ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் அசம்பிளி லாங்குவேஜ் கான்செப்ட் இன்வென்டட் அந்த அசம்பிளி லாங்குவேஜ் கண்டைன்ஸ் நிமோனிக் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் ப்ரொசீஜர் ஓரியன்டட் கான்செப்ட் இன்வென்டட் இட் இட் இஸ் எ ஹை லெவல் லாங்குவேஜ் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் கான்செப்ட் இன்வென்டட் ப்ரொசீஜர் ஆர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஓரியன்டட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் Conventional programming using high-level language such as COBOL, Photon and C is commonly known as procedure-oriented programming. In the procedure-oriented approach, the problem is viewed as a sequence of things to be done such as reading, calculating and printing. A number of functions are written to accomplish these tasks. The primary focus is on functions. object oriented programming emphasis is in data rather than procedure programs are divided into what are known as objects data is hidden and cannot be accessed by external functions objects may communicate with each other through the functions new data and functions can be easily added whenever necessary basic concept of oops one object object are the basic run time entities is an object oriented system they may represent a person a place a bank account a table of data or any that the program has handled the example of data is name date of birth marks functions do- total average display here the object is student class object contains data and code to manipulate the data the entire set of data and code of the object can be made a user defined data type with the help of the class here fruit is a class name and then mango is a object name a class is a three compartment box can encapsulating data and function one is the class name second one data members and then member function class name it is it is a identifies the class it is an identifier second one data members are variables it contains the uh, static attribute of the class member functions it contain the code of the functions data encapsulation the wrapping up of data and function into a single unit is known as encapsulation the data is not accessible to the outside of the world only those function which are wrapped in the can access it this function provide the interface between object data and the program the insulation of the data from the direct access by the program is called data hiding and information or information hiding data abstraction abstraction refers to the act of representing essential features without including the background of the details or explanation since classes are uses the concept of data abstraction they are known as abstract data types adt inheritance inheritance is the process by which object of one classes acquire the properties of another another classes in oops the concept of uh, inheritance provides that idea of reusability this means we can add additional future to an existing class without modifying it polymorphism it is a greek term it means ability to make more than one form poly means many form morphism means forms many forms a operation may exhibits different behavior in different different instance the behavior depends upon the type of data used in operations for example consider the operation of addition of for two numbers the operation will generate sum if operands are string then operations would produce third string by concatenation the process of making an operator to exhibit a different behavior and then different functions benefits of oops Uh, the oops uh, offers several benefits to both the program designer and the user through the inheritance we can eliminate a redundant code and extend the use of existing class we can build programs from the standard working module that communicate with one another rather than having start writing code from scratch 
this leads to saving the development time and higher productivity the principles of data hiding helps programmer to build and secure programs that cannot be invaded by code in other parts of the program it is possible to map objects in the pro problem domain to those in the program it is easy to partition to work in project based objects the data centered approach enables us to uh, capture more details of model in implementable form object oriented system can be easily upgraded from small to large systems Mage message passing uh, techniques for communication between objects makes the interface descriptions with external systems such as simpler software complexity can be easily managed application of ops real time systems simulation and modeling object oriented databases hypertext hypermedia and expert text ai and expert system neural networks and parallel programming decision support and office automation system cm cam cad systems thank you